and so we will be doing the third law uh, before you understand the third law we have to understand two important forces okay uh, which is action force what is action force okay and what is reaction force what is action force and what is reaction force what is action force? action force you know is that force which one object okay one object is applying on another object the first object is applying a force on the second object is the action force okay and due to this first force whatever force the second object is applying on the first object which i have shown in green right that is a reaction force so action force let me write in red and a and reaction force are written in green right so action force is the force which one object a applies on the object b and reaction force is the force which is produced force which is produced due to the action force okay due to the action force the force which is produced by object b on a so this is very important you have to understand this action force is the force which one first object applies on the second object and reaction force is the force which is created which is created okay by the second object that force which is created by the second object and which is acting you know from the second to the first <coughs> so it is like in simple language somebody scolds scolds you okay though it is not a force you can understand that somebody scolds you that is action and then you begin to cry okay that is reaction right similarly the force which object a first one applies an object b is action force and the force which object b applies on object 1 is the reaction force so now what does the newton's second uh, third law tells it tells that every action force has an equal and opposite reaction force which acts simultaneously simultaneously every action force has an equal and opposite reaction force which acts simultaneously it means that suppose there is an object on which there is a action force acting okay action force acting then this object on which the action force is acting this object will produce a reaction force what it will produce a reaction force and this force is produced simultaneously simultaneously means at the same time simultaneously means at the same time okay so action force is acting on an object so if you have an object right i am showing it by red color if you have an object and on this object now we will use color scheme to understand it better way so we have an object which is red colored here and i am using the green color for the action force so this is the action force okay which is acting on the object right because of this action force when reaction force is produced by the object okay so now the action force is produced from some object is it not action force will be produced from some object so that object first object we will keep it here it can be object anything it can be right like when we apply a force so we are the blue colored we are blue colored and the force on which we are applying is the red color right and so we are applying a force on the red colored object our force is shown by the green color that is the action force and the reaction which is produced is shown by the black right this happens at the same time very important at the same time okay what is that at the same time 
simultaneously that is why in the sentence if you see that word they have stressed simultaneously every action force has an equal and opposite reaction force which acts simultaneously now to understand this there are many many examples okay so we will try to understand the example we can understand this this third law of motion by using examples okay simple example is you know when cricketers play cricket okay and there is a bowler who is who wants to you know bowl a bouncer so what he does he pitches the ball very hard into the ground okay so you have the surface and he pitches it very hard into the ground when he pitches the ball very hard into the ground so you know you have the cricket ball red colored cherry we call it and then he pitches it very hard the ball also bounces very high so the the object whatever right it goes it goes very high so the more harder more force we say the more force he applies you know and the more force with which he will bang the ball in onto the ground more higher the ball will go right this is why because when he is applying force using the ball is applying force right so basically his force is getting transferred to the ball and that is getting transferred and that is getting transferred to the surface so it is hitting the surface which will with a large amount of force right the, at the same time the surface that force initial force is action force at the same time that surface is also applying one force and that force is the reaction force what it is it is the reaction force so ball is applying an action force and the surface is applying a reaction force okay so more harder he will pitch more harder it more higher it will go okay then if you consider a rocket right whenever a rocket moves up then you know there are exhaust gases which are coming out right what is happening basically inside the rocket there is ignition of the fuel ignition is burning okay ignition is burning when the fuel burns hot gases are thrown out through the end through the tail okay hot gases are thrown out through the tail so there is a force which is produced in the downward direction that is the action force due to this action force on the rocket one upward force is produced simultaneously that is the reaction force and the rocket moves up so basically when the fuel in the rocket burns hot gases are released and that applies a force in the downward direction that is the action force due to this action force a reaction force is produced on the rocket and that reaction force pushes the rocket up okay you must have observed this during diwali while lighting fire crackers also how the reaction force <coughs> sorry you must have observed this during diwali <clears throat> how the reaction force makes all the diwali rockets also go up right so you can see the flame going in the downward direction and the rocket going in the upward direction <clears throat> similarly if you take a spring okay and suppose you press the spring from both side what happens can you press the spring the turns of the spring come closer to each other is it not the turns of the spring come closer to each other and suppose after pressing you just leave it what happens suddenly the springs move the turns of the spring move apart so basically what is happening is you are applying one action force okay and what you see later is the reaction force okay you can do one more experiment suppose you have a wall you have a wall right and
and you suppose come running and you kick this wall what will happen will the wall break absolutely no but what are you doing you are applying one force that is the action force but from newton's third law what do we know what the wall will do it will simultaneously apply one force on you that is a reaction force so what will happen is you will get pushed backwards and you will fall down you can try this out you can run very fast and come and kick a wall okay i am very sure that the wall won't break but you will fall down because the wall applies backward force on you and that is the reaction force getting so like that there are numerous examples okay in nature that you can see newton's law works for example you must have tried to get out of a boat you know whenever you get try to get out of a small boat you feel a little difficulty in coming out okay and coming on to the bank right that is the shore <coughs> but the simplest way is to just push give a push in the downward direction to the boat when you push with your feet the boat in the boat will apply force on you in the upward direction basically the water which is there will apply a force on you in the upward direction and will be able to come out very easily similarly you know in cricket it is easy to hit a fast bowler than a slow bowler for simple reason is that whenever a slow bowler is bowling the ball the ball comes with less speed right so the force with which the ball is thrown is less so if the batsman wants to hit it for a six he has to come down the pitch then he has to apply his full might and he has to hit it is it not but when a fast bowler is bowling what he has to do he stands in his place and just gives direction to the ball because already the action force is so much that he will not have to put any effort to produce a reaction force and he will go for a six but if a slow bowler is bowling the action force is so less that the reaction force produced will not be sufficient for the ball to go outside the boundary so he has to come down we call in english dancing down the pitch they say that the batsman has danced down the pitch and hit the ball and hit the ball to covers for a beautiful six okay but you will never hear the batsman is standing in his pitch and is hitting it for six for his spinner he has to come down because when the spinner is bowling the action force is less so the batsman has to use his energy to produce the reaction force because sufficient reaction force is not produced right so batsman has to use his energy to produce the force but when the fast bowler is bowling already the action force is so much because the throw is so much strength is it not and you don't have to come down and hit just the batsman touches the ball and the ball just flies off just think cricketing shots right especially sachin tendulkar so you must remember this what i am saying so newton's third law of motion is very interesting and says every action force every action force has an equal and opposite reaction force which acts simultaneously every action force has an equal and opposite reaction force which acts simultaneously okay so you have to read this take some time and put it in your mind so very important thing which you should remember is what is mentioned in this box okay actually extremely important the important point is action and reaction forces are terms that express that express force okay action and reaction are terms that express force these forces act in pairs one force cannot exist by itself what does it mean it means that only when there is action force there will be reaction force only when there is action force there will be reaction force okay that is they act simultaneously and always remember that action and reaction forces do not act on different objects they do sorry action and forces uh, reaction forces do not act on the same object they act on different objects for example i showed you this in the beginning only with the diagram you know here i showed you there is an object a and there is an object b you can see action 
reaction force is acting on object B. That is, reaction force is acting on object A. Correct or not? Action force is acting on object B. Reaction is acting on object A. It tells you that both the forces are produced simultaneously. That is, at the same time, single forces cannot exist. You just cannot have only action force or you just cannot have only reaction force. If there is action force, there will be reaction force. And the most important, both these forces act on the same object or different object that you should think now, okay? Both these forces act on the different object. They don't act on the same object. You know, I had taught you earlier that if you take any object and if you pull it in both the direction, then this object will not move because this force F and this force F both cancel each other, right? So generally we have learned if there are two forces which are acting in opposite directions, then they cancel each other. But then why here two forces which are in opposite direction, why here two forces which are in opposite direction, why they are not cancelling when we study Newton's third law? For the simple reason that these two forces act on different objects. They don't act on the same object. Okay. Action and for reaction forces act on different objects. Yes. They act at the same time simultaneously, but they act on different objects. Understand? Because they act on different objects, they cannot get cancelled. Okay. So, whatever is written here in the swimming okay. Let me read one again. Action, reaction, terms and express force. This is why I wrote action force and action force. These forces act in pairs. One force cannot exist by its action and reaction forces act simultaneously. Action and reaction forces act on different objects. They do not act on the same object and hence cannot cancel each other's effect. I hope you have understood this. Okay. So think about this for the next minutes. So here in the textbook, some interesting questions are there. When hitting a ball with a bat, the speed of the bat decreases. What is the reason? Okay. When hitting a ball with a bat, the speed of the bat decreases. Because when the ball is applying its force, right? which is in opposite direction to the direction of the bat. Imagine you are moving your bat with certain force in the forward direction, but the ball is coming and hitting that bat with its own force. So what it will do, that force will oppose the speed of that force, which is applied to the bat. And since both the forces are opposite, your speed of the bat will become less. Gun recoils that is moves backwards when the bullet is fired. This is because when the bullet is fired, the bullet travels with a very high speed forward. Whenever it travels with a high, very high speed forward, okay, it's what is happening, why it is traveling is because the gun is applying one force on the bullet. The gun is applying a force on the bullet. Remember what I'm saying, gun is applying a force on the bullet. That is the action force. At the same time, the bullet will apply a backward force on the gun. The bullet will apply a backward force on the gun. That is the reaction force. And that is why the gun moves back. Okay. In Hindi, we say gun ko chhatka lagta hai. That is why. Because the bullet applies a backward force on the gun. But since the mass of the bullet is very less, the force produced on the gun is very less. And so just it goes little bit. Hello, sir.
understand the concept okay when if object a applies a force on object b the object b also applies a force on object a okay that is about newton's third law of motion i hope you understood the concept 